What is up, guys? My name is Andrew, and as you know, I'm from the Great White North. Not really. I'm from Florida. Uh, but it's as cold as it is in Canada. Not really as well. <laughs> it's only 60 degrees, but it's cold in Florida. So if you hear me shivering, if you hear some teeth chattering from the shivering, uh, yeah, that, 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 yeah, it's cold. <laughs> so welcome back to episode number 17 of season two of Space Engineers. And today we're going to be working on the hangar again. Big surprise, I'm sure. But uh, a little bit of lag here. What is going on? We are frozen. Oh no, the game. It's frozen. Just like me. All right, welcome back. We've had to reload the world. We had a little bit of a game crash. Oh God. Oh God, what's happening? Hang on. Sim speed, come back. <laughs> For some reason, the sim speed went all the way down to like 0.7. So let's, uh, let's, oops. Nope, nope, nope. Let's put, nope. There we go. Okay, welcome back to episode number 17. Uh, truly, it's time to get started. So we're going to be working on the hangar today, and uh, also little, the mole right here. We want to add something to it, but uh, but yeah. So what should we start? I think we'll start with the mole. We'll do the thing that we wanted to do. Uh, should I connect it to there? I guess I probably should, although I actually don't think I can because we, we built this right here, and that's where the mole was. So it might be a little difficult to make that connection. But what we could do is we could add a, uh, a, a nanite beacon. And the reason I want to do that is so that the nanites can actually work on this stuff. Because they can't do it unless it's connected to the base or if there's a beacon. So I think we might throw a beacon somewhere. Or not. I mean, we can build everything by hand. That's not really that difficult, I guess. So what we're going to be building are ejectors. Now, someone in the comments gave a really good ejector system that we're going to try to use. If I can find some space that we haven't used up by everything. Jeez, everything's packed tight in here. Oh my god. Actually, you know what? I know one area. I know of one area where there's not stuff. Uh, it's down, like, over there. It's in there. How do I get in there? Uh, okay. Let's just finesse our way in here. Ugh, there we go. Okay. Now, if we jump down here, right there. Yes! Here's room. We can actually put stuff here. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to grab some of this. So, we're going to mine this block right there and we're going to turn on our hood so we can see things we're going to grab this piece right here and we're going to put one of those babies a conveyor junction can we build it all up no we need small steel tubes and construction components now we're going to need everything to uh for this so we're, we're not going to be able to use the nanites because it's not actually connected to the ship and we didn't put a beacon on it because we're lazy so let's go and grab all the stuff that we're going to need uh and and i've been playing this game for a while i know pretty much everything we're going to need at this point and all the quantities so i'm feeling pretty good about myself Except for the fact that I just realized I didn't have to go all the way over here. I could have done all this from the uh, the assemblers. But anyways, we're going to search for small steel tubes. Small steel. There we go. We're going to grab all 60 of those. Or not. We're going to grab... <laughs> no, stop making me grab random stuff. We're going to grab this. There we go. 65 of them. We don't need the girders anymore. We're good without the girders. Although, should we keep the girders? No, we'll be fine without the girders. Let's, let's bring some construction components along. Uh, let's bring some computers along because we might need those. Nope, stop. Everything's moving around because uh, because freaking Izzy. Izzy's doing crazy stuff. Izzy, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your script hypnotize me. It's like one of my favorite songs. There we go. That's all the stuff we need. I have determined. Oh, wait, hang on. We're missing something. Hop, hop back in here real quick. We need some interior plates. Nope, we have 90. We're good. Whew. All right. Now, after that's over, let's fly all the way back to our nice little spaceship, and we're going to build that thing that we were just building. How do we get in there again? Um, shoot. <laughs> I don't remember how to get in. Right here, can we? Oh, maybe we might be able to get in through here. Yes, okay. So, build this right here. We're going to build a another one, actually. So, this one right here. Let's kind of turn this. There we go. And then right here, we're going to build a nice little sorter. So we're going to go to uh, number three. We're going to take this stuff out because we don't need it right now. And we're going to build a sort. Uh, we want a large one, not a small conveyor sorter. Just something that's going to sort everything. Is that facing the right way? I think it is. I can't really tell. Yeah, that's facing the right way. Okay, so there's our conveyor sorter. We need more small steel tubes. We'll get them. No worries. Next, we're going to have a rotor. Now, this... It's going to end up being a little crazy. <laughs> Rotor. I haven't tested this, by the way. So, uh, uh, yeah. I think we need this one. Yeah, we need the advanced one. Okay. We're going to use the advanced one just because it's got this. Oh, God. 
Oh god, it takes up a lot of space. Just because I think it's got the ability to grab... Yeah, it's got the ability to take stuff in. So we're going to want that one right there. And we're going to place it... We need large steel tubes. We don't want that thing right there. We're going to place a new one on that. So we don't want large steel tubes. We need small steel tubes and large steel tubes. Why did I say we don't want large steel tubes? We do want large steel tubes. Getting all tongue-tied. Okay, so small steel tubes. Uh, we're going to grab about 100 of them. We're going to get some large steel tubes as well, which are right there. Get 35 of those babies. Even though we probably didn't need that many. And I, I know a lot of you guys criticize me for, like, getting too much of something. Uh, and, and like filling my inventory up, but you know, whatever you only live once might as well have an inventory full of stuff Okay, uh, let's hop back into this advanced rotor and we're gonna go ahead and uh, Find a way in hang on Advanced rotor should be up here somewhere Whoop. We're going to add a small head <laughs> No jokes <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh god, it's huge uh, This is awkward hang on so if I have this, the, it, I mean, it's so it's big, and I need it to be small. So this is this this is make for small blocks. It converts this to a small block thing. Now I need to be able to somehow. How do I convert this large thing to a small thing? Oh, actually, you know what? I know. I know how we can do it. Okay, let's go. Let's go make a small cargo container, or a medium one rather, not a small one. The small one's actually really small, but the medium one is good. Okay, so place this right about there. Like, dang it, this isn't what I want either, is it? Unless, you know... No, I can't build in there. I've got to have it go straight. Ugh, it's difficult. Yeah, that's not what I want. I could use a large one, but large one wouldn't fit here, would it? Or, you know, it actually might. Hang on. Get the large cargo container in here. It does. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Okay. So we're going to do this right here. Now, we're not going to actually... Mm. <laughs> Oops. It's, uh, it's, too, it's too powerful. Now, we're not going to actually use the rotor to turn. We're going to use it to essentially convert this large grid into a small grid so we can add a bunch of small grid ejectors right here. And we're going to actually destroy that block as well so the ejectors can fire into something. Now, it's going to be a little wonky, and it may destroy the ship one day. But, uh, well, that, that's all that's all fun, isn't it? So, we'll, we'll see. We need displays and interior plates, um, which means I have to go back over here and grab those displays. And there's displays. We'll, we'll put these back. We don't need them. And interior plates. Uh, we're going to grab a bunch of interior plates because we always need those. Fly back over. And, oh, is that our hole? I believe it is. Awesome. There we go. A little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, weird weird stuff going on, but whatever. Okay, we're gonna hop into here real quick, find our advanced thing, and we're gonna share inertia tensor because I think that might actually fix it. Uh... <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> what just happened? Okay, hop back in here. We're gonna go back up there. Advanced rotor. We're gonna give it the rotor lock thing, so it doesn't freak out. Is our ship flying, by the way? Because cause it hit it so hard, I figured it might have, like, launched it into the sky. No, it looks like we're good. Nope, we're definitely not good. <laughs> it's still doing weird stuff. Okay, we continue anyways, because why not? Uh, okay, let's do... I'm going to try turning it on at some point as well, see what happens. <laughs> it's going to be so funny. Okay, let's do uh, this. We're going to hop back over here, remove this stuff, because we don't need it anymore. We're going to need conveyors of the small variety. And we're going to need uh, ejectors of the small variety as well. So ejectors are really small. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to do something like this. We're going to grab this, put them... Oh, God. Oh, my God! It's moving the ship! What? <laughs> okay, hang on. Maybe if I even out the weight. Nope. Nope. Even it out. Even it out. Make it nice. Oh, my God. Oh my god, are we moving? No, I think we're good. Okay. Let's keep going. Just just, just power through it. Alright, there we go. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is happening? Oh my god. I think we're good now because it can't go any further. Okay. We need more... Well, we don't... We need more uh, construction energy components. Low. And our energy is low. 
Okay, well, let's go get more construction components and get our energy higher. What the heck? What the heck? What are you doing? Okay, here's another idea. While we're here, let's hop into the cockpit real quick. We have a little bit of an engine fire, but it's no worries. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We're gonna we're gonna go up a little bit. And away from the base. Okay. Well, yeah, away from this as well. <laughs> you know, I could actually probably run it through that. So, so that it could fix our, uh, our our broken things. Okay, we're going to turn it around this way and let it fly for now. Okay, yeah, it's good. Okay, we're going to let it fly uh, so that it doesn't destroy the base while we're doing this. It looks stationary. I think we're good. How damaged are you, by the way? Really freaking damaged. Dang. But well, we need thruster components and construction components, so let's go grab those. Uh, component. We're going to grab a bunch of these babies. None of those. We don't need any of this stuff. That'll get sorted back into that. Uh, we don't need this stuff. We need thruster components. We can grab 87. Is that enough? Hopefully. We'll see. It's not enough, but... Wait, what else do we have? Fi what else is on fire? How is there a fire in here? What happened over there? What? Color me confused. Okay. Well, let's hop back over here and try and get this thing fixed. What the heck? Is there a fire over here, too? What is happening? Oh, my God. Everything took damage from this. Maybe this is not a good idea and we probably shouldn't continue, but let's continue it. Look, see, it's stationary just now. I feel like we're slightly moving. So if I turn this rotor, what would happen? Probably bad things, right? Probably something we shouldn't try. Maybe we'll do it anyway. Who knows? <laughs> All right, ejectors right here. Don't worry. Once it's once it's built, it shouldn't be a problem anymore, right? Okay, let's build them. Come on. Power through it, and once we're done, we won't have any more pro. Jesus. Okay. Now it's built. I think we're, we should be good. We won't. It, it won't do anything bad anymore, right? See? Maybe. Okay. Let's hop out of here. Go back over here. Unfortunately, a lot of our ship is uh, is is damaged, so we do have a lot of engine fires. I will say it's looking really cool though. Uh, like uh, I, I like the aesthetic of having engine fires. It looks cool. Now that's kind of probably a weird thing to say, but yeah, I think it does look pretty awesome. Okay. Let's get our ship normal like this. We're having a little bit of trouble flying, considering two of our engines are, are uh, dead. But uh, let's press I real quick. We're going to go in here, and we're going to get these things working. So looks like we have a gyroscope that's dead. We have... Is that the, and then we have two thrusters and a refinery that's incomplete. Yes, yeah, so, so a lot of our things actually did get destroyed. But we're going to go to uh, the advanced rotor. That's fine. Maybe we turn off share and Ursa tensor. Maybe that's the problem. And turn off rotor lock as well. That could have been the problem. Maybe it was like trying to share a nurse a tensor and that was like, it wasn't working very well. So our sorter, which is uh, called a conveyor sorter, I think. Kind of a really weird name. If you're looking for sorter, you're not going to find it. But we're going to go all the way down and we're going to create a whitelist for rock. So stone all the way down here. Add that. There we go. Next, we want to go to our ejectors, which are going to be right there. We're going to grab those all and call these ejectors. All right. Now that we have those, we're going to set those to collect all and throw out. Now, hey, look at that. We got a little bit of stone coming out. <laughs> I love it. That is how we, uh, that is how we poop as a rabbit. We should call this the rabbit and that's our rabbit poop. <laughs> Actually, I really like the name mole. M-O-L-E. I need to find, like, what mole could stand for. So, if you're, if, if you're watching this now, what what could mole stand for? Like, that, what an acronym or something? M-O-L-E. The mother ship uh, of landing elves? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good at acronyms. But, uh, okay, let's, now, now that that's working, let's, well, well, actually, let's try an experiment real quick. I want to try... To set this thing to turn. To set the, the rotor to turn and see what happens. 
It's a science experiment, and uh, yeah, we're doing it for science. Don't worry. So we're going to press K on this. We're going to go to our advanced rotor, and we're going to say turn. Is anything happening? I don't think anything's happening. Let's try one more time, except we're going to give it full blast and full torque. Hey, I think we're fine. One more thing we could try is we could share a nurse tensor again. Oh my god. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, science experiment done. <laughs> we can carry on to trying to fix our ship after that. All right, share a nurse tensor. Torque, go all the way, go, go to zero or something. I don't know, something like that. Uh, velocity, go back to zero. Uh, and then rotor lock, because I don't, yeah. All right, that's going to be pretty good. Oh, I could uh, change the displacement. You know, actually, I could probably solve this by breaking that block right there. Let's see. Like, so so it's not as stuck. Uh, if anything, that probably unsolved it. I feel like it was fine, but then now now it's uh, <laughs> now it's having trouble. I feel bad for this thing. This thing's going to break at some point, and so is this. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the heck? The ship! Oh no! Oh my god. Okay, this is a problem. But, we're for now we're gonna land this. We'll land it inside here where it can't do any damage. Oh my god, that, that was scary. Can it fit in here? I think it can. We'll be fine. Although we do, <laughs> excuse me, still have a little bit of the cough. We do want to do some work in there, so maybe it's not the best place to fit it. Let's go over here and we'll land kind of out front, kind of where uh, Big Red used to be. We have a lot less weight because we dropped all those rocks. Although I'm not sure those would have were even like very heavy, but you can see them all down there. Oh, oh no, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I didn't do that. I promise I didn't do that. There we go. I turned it off. That was a bad idea, probably, turning it off. Uh, those rotors, uh, you know, it, it was a good idea. But uh, we probably need to go ahead and detach those rotors. Because it's <laughs> it's causing bad things to happen. <laughs> How do I navigate an upside-down ship? Um, we'll, well, we'll look for the hole, I guess. Are you still freaking out? Oh yeah, right, we're upside down. <laughs> okay, let's get in here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and detach, well... But it's such a good ejector system. Ah, uh, we'll just, we'll detach it anyway. Alright, advanced rotor, detach block. Boom, there we go, it's detached. It no longer does anything, and I'm sad. We'll, we'll have to make a new ejector system that doesn't work like this. Unfortunately, this one is just way too uh, finicky. And I'm guessing it's because, first of all, rotors and space engineers, come on. They're always been, they've are always always been finicky and they always will be. Uh, otherwise, it's not the same old rotor. Uh, and second of all, it's in this big, like, it's, it's in this very small space. So that causes problems. Um, now, I'm not quite sure what we should do. I mean, we have a lot of materials. We can do this. Oh, right. We're upside down. <laughs> forgot okay well let's go and try and re uh, like right right side up us so that we can uh, maybe fix this thing so hop into our cockpit which is upside down we're going to press y actually y is already been pressed and we're going to do some magic Ugh. oh my god what have i done <laughs> i think we're good i think that was actually just a small explosion um that didn't actually oh god it destroyed our power Okay, so it was a big explosion. All right, so this episode's fun. We've done a lot of fun things. Um, <laughs> let's uh, let's land this thing and try and try and assess what we've done so far and what we need to do moving forward. Uh, so let's let's just land this right here. And um, right. So whoever commented that we should do that with the rotors, I think it was a good suggestion. Just some bad execution on my part. Um, 
I probably shouldn't have actually just made it in, like, I probably shouldn't have made it in a very small enclosed area like I did, but, uh, unfortunately, I'm dumb. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, maybe we'll try it again. Uh, maybe, like, make some space on the side or something. We're gonna have to run through and fix all this stuff, which may take a little while, but, uh, for now, let's do a little bit of work on the, this thing right here so that we can see if we can get, uh, a nice hangar going. So, now that the ship's gone, we can kind of see our path here. Where, how we're gonna get to and from so you know we're walking up here i like it it's, it's good so far we need a way to get over there so we could just add a door like that or like a bigger door like this we could just do like that and that, that should be fine like have our little server room on the side and then let me let me see yeah izzy's izzy broke again izzy breaks roughly like once or twice every episode so it's fine i just have to go through it and and, and fix it but uh you know then we kind of walk over this way we're in the Darth Vader, Darth Vader Hall. That's what it seems like, right? Da 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 dun da da dun da 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 da. That I like that name, Darth Vader Hall. Next, we're going to. Well, we could build. We could start building the ground level, I guess. Which is going to be well. That that's going to be really tough. Is building that ground level because I want to build it like one lower than this, or even two, like down here. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of digging of this stuff, but let's let's see if we can. Okay, so let's hop over here. And I'm still on small blocks, which is weird, but whatever. So we're gonna build that out. Let's do something like this. One, two, th I guess three then, and then we'll go down. Down. Is that a good level? Let me see. So if I build at this level right here, we'll be building like this pretty much. That's fine. Yeah, that's a good level. I mean, it gives us plenty of room between the bottom here and the top of that. So that's, that's, yeah, that's plenty of room. That's almost as much room as that. That might even be more. No, maybe it's a little less, but that's fine. And then this right here could be like a walkway or something. Like you, we could, we could keep this at this height uh, and then people could walk on it uh, if they're walking around or something. You know, I don't, I don't know what people do in their free time. Like just, just like walking around the ships to look at them or something. Maybe we'll have an air show one day. People will come in. They'll look at all the... All the cool ships that we're gonna have someday, and it'll be super awesome. We could do like a display; it'll be cool. Um, but yeah, so that that this is gonna be the ground here, the ground level where the ships are going to uh, to live, where they're going to sleep essentially. That's just what ships do usually. Most of, most of the time, my ships sleep. They don't really I don't really use them very often. Every ship has its own purpose, but usually they only get used once or twice. You know. It, if that, <laughs> I mean, like the the welder that we made, which is called well, what do we call it? The uh, uh, not the harvenator, but the other one. Oh, I forget what it's called. But the welder, I mean, we've used it like once, maybe a series, uh, maybe twice. So I don't know. The miner gets used a bit more, but uh, but <laughs> but yeah, definitely we 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 don't use our ships very often. Um, I think the bubby mobile was used. I think we drove it once. <laughs> Like, without the mole, we would have had to go through all of this and dig it out by hand, which would have taken so long, but um, but but it did work. Now, will the mole ever be used again for any purpose? Maybe. I mean, one of you suggested in the comments that I could use it for uh, asteroid mining, and that might not be a bad idea, since asteroids are relatively small. One of the one of the big problems with the mole is that since it's so long, uh, and on fire right now, no, but since it's so long, it's tough to turn around, so you pretty much have to back up, which can be tough if you've been turning a little bit. Uh, so, asteroids do kind of fix that. If you're mining asteroids, you don't really have to turn around. You can just go kind of straight through. So, that's uh, that's definitely one idea for the mole. Uh, but as far as, as other things, I mean, pretty much the only use for it is going to be doing stuff like this. Uh, because it, it was... Is there a big crater there? It, it was way faster to actually go through this with the mole than it w would have been to go through with the Harvenator, for instance. Um, since the Harvenator is just it's, it's smaller. So... Yeah, that's that's how ships work. Uh, we're gonna bring the Bubby Mobile in here as our first ship, I think. So we will be able to drive it again. And I don't know what we want to do with it. We could mount a turret on it and drive it around here, but I don't think there are any uh, any space pirate bases on the moon. So, oops, that one landed. It's once again, it's my silent goal in this series to to break everything before it lands if it if it's disconnected from the grid. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't get to it every time. All right, there we go. Place those. That's looking pretty good. Now we have our, our nice walkway here. It's almost built. 
and I'll build under there as well. I'll, build a, I'll put a block uh, or two under there. I do like this, having a kind of a raised walkway. Um, and see, this is this is kind of how I build things. Is like I can just kind of start building, and then things kind of pop out, um, or like ideas kind of come up. Like this raised walkway, I wouldn't have even thought of this, but then uh, you know I randomly just start building, and, and there it is. So we're out of steel plates. Oh no! Well, let's let's take a look at what we have so far. So we've got a raised walkway where you know you're kind of walking over here. You're looking at the ships. When you want to go to a ship, maybe maybe there'll be like a ramp. You go down here, and this will be the the, the show floor, the, uh, the 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 ship area where the Bubby Mobile will reside. And in fact, can we drive the Bubby Mobile right now? Let's see. Actually, we don't really have a way in, do we? Uh, let's make a way in. Let me go grab more steel plates, and then we'll make a way in. All right, so one of you suggested that we make this giant wall right here a way in, and I do kind of like that idea because it, it, it is kind of right next to this hangar, and it would be cool if we have a way in uh, into this hangar just, like, right there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to kind of match this. So one, two blocks here, then we'll have one, two blocks here, and then we'll start. So that'll be the first block. We're going to do some sort of, like... Well, I want to have it a little bit lower than this one, but we're going to go as high as this one goes as well. So, up to this level. So, roughly it'll be about this big, and then we're going to have it be roughly the same size as well. So, let's check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks across. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, right here. And then all the way down would be right about here. Yeah, so that's going to be roughly the size of our uh, of our door. And we're going to put a hangar door in it as well. One, a, th a thing that closes um, at some point. Uh, but for now, let's... I, I don't want to have this ramp here uh, for this one as well. I might, I like, Because I want it to be kind of at the ground level. So you don't have to use an additional ramp. Especially since the floors of this is going to be so much lower than normal. So we're going to do it a little bit lower. Like down here. Let's start just randomly breaking steel blocks. We're going to have so many steel plates by the end of this. Because when I just went to go grab steel plates, we were almost out. But uh, that is no longer a problem, put it that way. Uh, Bubba Mobile, come here, you're going to help me. Vroom. Are we parking brake on? Vroom. You're going to come over here. The reason I want the Bubba Mobile here is because, oh god, the brakes. The brakes. There are no brakes. Parking brake. The reason I want that there is because it's got nice little containers where we can put steel plates in. So, woohoo! And we can probably put some of these in there as well. Uh, let's go start grabbing more. There we go. And at this point, it looks like I'm going to accidentally make all this stuff fall. Hey, it's not actually falling. Oh, it's falling. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Get it before it tilts. Ah. Uh... All right, that that is a small little achievement of mine that I, that I got it before it tilted. Awesome. Uh, let's put a bunch of these back in here, and we're gonna grab uh, these. Oh God, that's that's a lot of stuff. That must be the stuff from when we actually broke this. It gave us the parts back. That's very nice of it. Two hundred thruster components plus plus uh, plus more. Wow, I can just go and put that stuff right back into this thing, because we're gonna have to fix it anyway, since the the nanites aren't gonna do it for us. Unfortunately, let's put that all that in there, and then we can grab all these steel plates. You know, as doors go, this one's not that bad. I th I think I like the level as well. Let's do a little bit of uh, of mining real quick. Oh god, it's gonna probably take us a long time to do this. Mm, maybe time lapse. Three, two, one, go. Welcome back. I hope you love that time lapse. Uh, <laughs> I was singing some time lapse songs, some some classic uh, you know time lapse uh, time lapse campfire songs that I've made. <laughs> uh, I was also talking very slowly in the time lapse to see if you could understand me. So did you understand me during the time lapse? I won't know until until editing time, but uh, I don't know. Okay, let's hop into here. We're gonna make some ramps. So we're gonna use the ramp. Uh, this one. Well, you're gonna we're gonna use the stairs one because it's got both. Uh, so we're going to grab the ramp, turn it around, 
and we're going to want to do actually on second thought let's not do ramps the reason i don't want it well ramps require construction components and interior plates compared to if we just use these things right here we'd only require steel plates so i think we're going to use the ones that only require steel plates because they're easier to build they're easier to well they're easier to to make like we don't need to cost so many materials for it um how how low is this ramp gonna have to go jesus so it's gonna be right here at that level then right there then right oh my god we're gonna be like in the middle of the thing by the time we get uh this ramp all the way down there jeez <laughs> well I, I think that's something we can probably do off camera is uh is build this thing because it's gonna take a long time to well you know on second thought you know, I say this. It's probably only going to take a few seconds. Here, let's 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 build this before we end the episode. So I, I that, that's our goal. Let's 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 get her done. You know, as they say in uh, whatever that comes from. <laughs> okay, let's. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. We can do this. Oh God, please don't weld that one, nanites. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being awesome. Uh, break that, and this should be all the blocks that we need to break. We should be we should be fine after this. There we go. You know, sure, it might have been easier if I was using the ramps. I wouldn't have to place two blocks. I would only have to place one. But, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's it's all good. Okay, we're at the walkway level. Wait, no. This is the floor level. This isn't even the walkway level. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I like it. So, this is going to be our ramp. This is where the Bubby Mobile will be able to travel to get down to uh, this level. So, let's, uh, let's, let's bring this forward one or two and see... If uh, if we can if we can make an area that the bubby mobile can can go yes I know I just placed that block weirdly and I'll, be, I'll I'll come back to it don't worry don't worry stop worrying Ugh. oh my god <laughs> the one I wanted to delete is the one the nanites are gonna destroy well that's that's the law of nanites oh god maybe I should wait until they do this stuff oh if I'm very careful I can actually weld it or I can actually uh, drill it. All right. Oh no, come on. Go away. There we go. That should be enough area for us to drive the Bubby Mobile uh, down here. So let's do our proof of concept real quick and then we'll end the episode. Uh, Bubby Mobile, let's go. Oh, parking brake. All right, back her up. We're gonna go into third person because it's just easier to drive in third. Uh, and come on, drive over that. Yes. Gonna drive over the bump and down. Oh god, it's not it's not nearly long enough. <laughs> well, that's fine. That's that, that that's that's our proof of concept right there. We'll just keep the bubble mobile on like that. Like have you guys ever made like models or dioramas or something like that? That's what that looks like. It's 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 in motion, so it looks like it's been, it's been driving, but we just took a snapshot of it. Um all right, well that's looking off in the distance at our almost destroyed mole. That's been this episode. A very productive once again, looking at the mole episode, I think we, we did a little bit with the hangar. We got it a little bit with the mole, you know, uh, come to think of it. We actually didn't really do much, but <laughs> next episode, hopefully we'll do a little bit more. Uh, thank you again for those suggestions for how to, how to build the ejectors on the mole. And, um, I hope you guys liked this episode. If you did hit the like button, put your comments and your suggestions down below. Uh, and I'll, I will see you guys in the next episode of space engineers fire.